Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 2 power x minus 2 minus 2 power y minus 2 equals to 2016. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this left hand side of this equation and here I have copied it down and now let's recall this quotient rule we are going to apply on these both of these terms. Let's apply on this first one. So this could be written as 2 power x divided by 2 power 2. Likewise, we are going to apply on this one as well. So I'm going to put down minus 2 power y divided by 2 power 2. And now we can see 2 power 2 is same as 4. Likewise, this one is 4 as well. Therefore, this whole thing could be written as 2 power x divided by 4 minus 2 power y divided by 4 as well. Therefore, I am going to replace this left hand side of this equation by this uh, simplified one. So therefore, I can write this one as 2 power x divided by 4 minus 2 power y divided by 4 equals to 2016. And now let's go ahead and remove these fractions. So I am going to multiply across the board by 4 with each and every term. And we can see this 4 and 4 is gone. So we ended up with 2 power x minus likewise this 4 and 4 cancels out. So we got 2 power y equals to 4 times 2016 is going to give us 8064. So therefore we can see that this whole original equation has been transformed to this new equation. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as our equation number one. And now let's go ahead and make some observations. The difference of these two numbers equals to a positive number since this is a positive one. So therefore I can write this one 2 power x minus 2 power y is greater than 0 that gives us, uh, that means x is greater than y. And now since x is greater than y, so let's go ahead and make a substitution. I'm going to say let uh, x equals to y plus uh, some integer a. Then our this equation 1 is could be written as uh, 2 power y plus a minus uh, 2 power y equals to 8064. And now let's recall this product rule we're going to apply on this first term. So this could be written as 2 power y times 2 power a minus, I can write this 2 power y as 2 power y times 1 equal to 8064 on the right hand side and now we can see that 2 power y and this 2 power y is in common so therefore we can factor out 2 power y outside and we are left with the 2 power a minus 1 equals to 8064 and now let's focus on this right hand side number 8064 and here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and find its factors and here I have divided this uh, 8064 successively by these numbers 2 and you can see we ended up with the 63 and since they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 2 of them so that means we got 2 power 7 times this number 63 so therefore we can see that this uh, 8064 could be broken down into 2 power 7 
times 63. So therefore this right hand side number 8064 could be written as 2 power 7 times 63. And now let's go ahead and make observation. We can see that this 2 power y is an even number and then 2 power a minus 1 is an odd number and on the right hand side if we look at this thing 2 power 7 is an even number and 63 is obviously an odd number. So therefore by comparison I can compare this 2 power y equals to 2 power 7 and likewise I can compare these odd numbers as well. So I can write on the other side 2 power a minus 1 equals to 63. And now let's focus on this very first equation. We know that our bases are same on both sides. So therefore we can equate our exponents as well. So therefore I can write this y equal to 7. This is one of the values. Now let's focus on this uh, next equation. I'm going to add one on both sides. So we can see that this positive and negative one is gone. So we ended up with a 2 power a equals to 64. And now we can see 64 could be written as 2 power 6. So therefore we can write 2 power a equals to 2 power 6. And now we can see that our bases on both sides are same. So therefore we are going to equate their exponents as well. So therefore we can write a equal to 6 value. And here's our final step. Our a value is 6, y value is 7 and we are going to find the value of x now. But then we know x equals to y plus a from our this substitution. Let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So x is going to be y in our case is 7 and a is 6. So therefore our x value turns out to be simply 13. So thus our solution turns out to be x equals to 13 and y equal to 7. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.